हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर अकीला आनंद प्रैक्टिसिंग एज एन आई वी एफ कंसल्टेंट एट तामरा हॉस्पिटल राजाजी नगर बैंगलोर सो लो ए एम एच नव डे इज मोस्ट कॉमनली सीन इन ऑल द कपल्स सो लो ए एम एच डजेंट मीन दैट पेशेंट रिक्वायर्स और दे शुड गो फॉर डोनर ओसाइड्स ए एम एच इंडिकेट्स द एग रिजर्व इन फीमेल्स ए एम एच वेन इट इज लेस दैन वन इट मीन्स दैट पेशेंट शुड गो फॉर सटेन ट्रीटमेंट्स एंड दे शुड टेक प्रॉपर ट्रीटमेंट फ्रॉम पर्टिकुलर डॉक्टर टू कंसीव वेन ए एम एच रिपोर्ट कम्स लो देन पेशेंट्स गेट टेंस एंड दे विल वरी वेदर दे विल कंसीव विद देयर ओन एग्स और नॉट एंड दे विल स्टार्ट कंसल्टिंग ए आई वी एफ स्पेशलिस्ट एंड दे विल वरी अबाउट वेदर दे विल कंसीव और नॉट एंड सटेन पेशेंट्स विल स्टॉप टेकिंग ट्रीटमेंट एंड सटेन पेशेंट्स विल नॉट कंसल्ट एनी वन सो ए एम एच लेवल्स वेन द वैल्यू इज बिटवीन वन पॉइंट फाइव टू फोर इट इज नोन एज नॉर्मल ए एम एच वैल्यू लो नॉर्मल वेन इट इज बिटवीन वन टू वन पॉइंट फाइव very low when it is less than 0.5 and the when the value is between 0.5 to 1 is low amh when the amh is less than 1 it indicates the quality and the quantity of oocyte is low so amh is not only an indicator for donor oocytes or not only it indicates the success rate of ivf there are many things we should follow when the patient is having low amh we should do day to scan and we should look for antral follicular count when we do scan we should see at least 5 to 6 antral follicular count in each ovaries if the age of the patient is less than 30 years with amh 1.5 her impact on the pregnancy is different where the patient age more than 30 years with 1.5 amh such patient impact on the pregnancy is totally different so somebody who is dealing with complex cases and expert in dealing with low amh is the right person for you so right planning it depends on age of the patient and the cause of infertility and the married life and any other associated factors like endometriosis or tubal block and any associated male factors like low sperm count or low motility and whether patient had taken any previous ovulation induction or iui cycles or any failed ivf cycles so these are all factors that will help to decide whether patient should go for self oocyte or donor oocyte can ivf work with low amh patients what can be done for this low amh patients there are certain medicines available and latest treatments available for this low amh patients to improve the quality of oocytes so these medicines will improve the quality of oocytes these medicines are given for one or two or three months to improve the quality of oocytes when we do scan if the antral follicular counts are seen in both the ovaries nearly two to or three or four so such patients we will give injections for the stimulation and we will do conventional ivf or minimal stimulation or cooling of the embryos even after giving medicines certain patients won't show any improvement in the antral follicular counts such patients they should definitely go for donor oocytes amh low amh that indicates poor egg quality and it gives poor success rate so low prognosis depends on age of the patients and their ovarian reserve and ovarian response during the stimulation low amh patients will have poor quality of oocyte that leads to poor success rate in ivf cycle yes there comes a situation or indication for donor egg cycle in patients with low amh patients with low amh with higher fsh value they should definitely go for donor oocyte fsh is very important for the drug response there are certain medicines available to reduce the fsh and lh value even after certain medicines the fsh and lh value remains high such patients definitely should go for donor oocytes there are certain conditions like premature ovarian failure where the younger females will have no antral follicular counts when we do scan on day 2 or day 3 such patient should opt for donor oocytes patients with previous ivf failed cycles 
such patients when uh, the quality of embryo is not good such patients also should definitely go for donor oocytes so there are certain treatments and protocols are available for uh, low amh patients if the patient responds very well so ivf with self oocyte is possible in such patients so low amh is not an indicator for donor oocytes so reaching to the right person at a crucial time is very important if you delay in consulting a doctor and as the age advances number of eggs and the quality of eggs will come down so reaching to the right expert at right time is very important so we at tamara hospital we have treated patients with very low amh i have treated a patient with amh 0.6 i had given medicines for 3 months and the patient conceived in a first attempt with twins and i delivered in the month of december 